Difficulty with straightening your elbow, also known as elbow extension, is a common issue after someone has a stroke, and it's usually caused by muscle weakness and or spasticity. Strengthening and stretching the muscles that are around your elbow can be helpful to get that elbow a little bit straighter. So with that said, we're gonna go through five gentle stretches and exercises today to help you improve elbow extension. Let's get into it. So our first exercise is going to be an elbow extension stretch. So what I'd like you to do is grab a towel or a rolled up sheet or a blanket. You're gonna use this underneath your affected elbow to give yourself a little bit more support. And you're gonna take your unaffected hand right above your wrist and you are gently going to start stretching and pushing out to get that elbow a little bit straighter. Now, very importantly here, with any of the exercises I show you, any of the stretches I show you, if you feel pain, especially sharp, acute pain, back off. We do not push through pain here, right? You can do these holds for you know 20 to 30 seconds, a little longer if you can tolerate it, and then give yourself a little bit of a break and then go back into it. Now just be careful, you're not holding directly onto your wrist, you're holding just a little bit above your wrist. And this is helpful if you tend to have a flexed or bent wrist and curled up fingers, um, as well as just being protective of your wrist. Go ahead and relax here for me. We're gonna go into the second exercise, which is weight bearing. So for this one, we're gonna be bearing weight through your affected side. If you are able to get your hand flat, we're gonna try it that way. If not, and your hand kind of stays curled up, watch your wrist, make sure it's not um, buckling here, but you're gonna try to lean over and put weight down through your affected side with your elbow as straight as you can get it. You may have seen certain splints like this, um, sort of like an air cast that can help to keep your elbow straight and you can do some stretches in that and that would be okay. Um, but if you're trying to go through this routine, um, one right after the other, that takes a little bit of time to put on and off. But if you wanna just do some weight bearing with that splint on, that would be fine. All right, let's move on to our next exercise, which is a lying elbow extension. So for this one, we're gonna get on our backs and we're going to let gravity help us with this exercise. So I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit to show you. Now for the first way I'm gonna show you, my elbow is gonna be supported here on the mat. You're gonna to try to bring your arm, you know, about 45 degrees out from your body. And what I want you to do is gently try to straighten your elbow Try to control it, don't let it just flop down because gravity is kind of pushing this way. So try to control it and get it as straight as you possibly can. Now, like I said before, I've got my elbow supported here. You can also scoot towards the edge of a couch or a bed and have your elbow hanging off. This is gonna require a little bit more control as you're letting your arm go down. Now, if your arm won't go completely straight, that's okay. Again, don't try to push through any pain um, or significant tightness. All right, let's go ahead and sit back up. Ooh, we've got our next exercise, which is towel slides. So for this, I'm actually gonna bring my stool over because I wanna be at a little bit of a different height here. I'm gonna grab my little blanket, but you can grab a washcloth, you can grab a towel, whatever you've got handy. And for this one, the goal is that you are gonna be trying to push that arm as straight as you can. So you would be sitting like this with your arm in front of you. I'm just gonna turn so you can see my hand. We're gonna try to push, getting that elbow as straight as you can and then bringing it back. If you're able to get your hand flat, do it that way. Bring your elbow back. We are getting some shoulder involvement here as well. As you know, our muscles don't live in isolation of each other. They all kind of work together. Let's do two more. One, last one. Lovely job. Let's move into our last exercise before we take a rest and we do them again. Now, this one is going to be the hardest one. This is our against gravity active elbow extension. So we're actively doing this and gravity is not helping us in this situation. So for this one, all I want you to do 
is try to push your arm straight out in front of you or a little bit to the side. Bring it back in, push it straight. Wonderful job. Imagine that you're reaching for something, maybe in your cabinet or your refrigerator. You're trying to hit a light switch. If you wanna practice with those things, you absolutely can. Sometimes having an end goal or something that we're reaching towards can actually help our brain with that movement. Let's do two more. Good, let's do one more. Fantastic. All right, we're taking a short little rest break here, but I do wanna note with that last exercise, the um, active against gravity movement, where gravity is not helping us, you can add a cuff weight, or if you have some grip, you can hold on to a dumbbell. If you need a little bit of an extra challenge and you want some strengthening involved as well as movement. All right, we're going back into our first exercise, our first stretch really, which is the elbow extension stretch. So we're going to grab onto our towel or our blanket again, whatever you have. We're supporting that elbow. Good job. Taking the unaffected hand just above the wrist on the forearm, and we're doing a gentle, gentle stretch. Now, if you have someone who is able to help you with these stretches, with some of these stretches, um, that's fine too. You just wanna make sure that if somebody is helping you out with any of your home exercise programs, um, your stretching, that they are also being cognizant of your pain level. So, you know, you need to make sure that you're telling them if something hurts or showing them if something hurts, if you have difficulty communicating, um, because we don't wanna cause any further injuries with any of these exercises. As I mentioned before, you can do these holds 20, 30 seconds, take a break, and then go back for some more holds. All right, let's move on to our second exercise, again, which is our weight bearing. So this is where we're bearing weight down through your affected arm. If you can get your hand flat, try to do that. If not, it's okay. Just watch your wrist and make sure you're not buckling as you're putting weight down through that arm. You're gonna try to get your elbow as straight as you possibly can and then you're just going to shift your weight over and we're just going to sit and hold here for a few seconds before we give you a break very nice might be a good time for a nice deep breath take a deep breath in through your nose and blow that breath out through your mouth fabulous job let's do one more five second hold you're doing fantastic. And let's go ahead and relax. We're moving on to our next one, which is the lying down elbow extension. Just like I did last time. This time I'm gonna keep my elbow nice and supported on the mat table here. And all we're gonna try to do is gently bring that arm down and then back up. Fantastic job. Let's keep it going. Having our elbow on a supported surface is essentially going to give more support to our arm. But like we did last time, if you want to hang your whole elbow off, you can give yourself a greater challenge that way. Um, gravity is going to be trying to force that arm down. And so while that does help us, we also want to try and control that movement so we're not just letting our arm flop down, right? All right, let's go ahead and sit back up. Nice job. We are gonna now go into towel slides again. So I'm gonna pull over my trusty stool here, grab my towel. All right, so we're gonna work to try to get that arm pushed out nice and straight and then pulling it back in. Just like I mentioned last time, if you're unable to get your wrist, your hand, or your elbow fully straightened out, that's okay. Start where you are and that is perfectly fine. This towel is helping to reduce some friction that we otherwise might have between our skin and whatever surface you might be working on, whether that's a bed against sheets, on top of a table, 
Um, having a towel or a washcloth or a blanket can help reduce some of that friction. Okay, we're gonna get into our last exercise, which is the um, active elbow extension against gravity. So we're working even a little bit harder in this last one. Let me scoot my little stool out of the way. All right, so for this one, you can sit up right, you can stand if you're safe to do so. And we're basically just gonna like punch out in front of us or off to the side, trying to extend that elbow as far as you can. Now, if you wanna keep your hand open, that's perfectly fine. Practice your reaching. And again, if you wanna add a little bit more of a challenge, you can add a wrist cuff weight for a little extra resistance. If you have some grip, you can also hold on to a dumbbell and that's gonna give you a little bit more strengthening. But we are doing this against gravity. It's, it's fighting us a little bit, so we do get some resistance that way as well. Let's do one more. Fantastic job. Stop there. Thank you for showing up for yourself today. Thanks for showing up with me. As always, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below if you'd like to sign up for the email list, which gets you free stroke recovery tips and motivational emails every week, as well as a free copy of my ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. And if you find value in what we do here at Post Stroke and you're able, please consider donating, either by giving us a super thanks by clicking down in the YouTube bar below, by donating once via PayPal, or by becoming a Patreon member, where in exchange for a monthly donation, you get access to cool perks like social media shoutouts, behind the scenes footage, Q&A videos, as well as YouTube shoutouts, of which I have one today. Thank you so much again to Doug C for continuing to contribute at the Empower level. We can't do what we do without you. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.